Hey guys, Reed here. Today, I'm super excited to be talking about a custom visual that I've been coming across and working with, with a company that specializes in financial reporting and analytics that XE has built. A Power BI custom visual that, as you can see here, acts and looks a lot like advanced Excel reporting when it comes to just honestly so many features to customize when it comes to row reordering, the ability to add calculations within the visual. It really creates an Excel spreadsheet type experience directly in Power BI with little to no code. They're also going to be doing a webinar May 6th at 11 a.m. EST, as you can see here, with an option as well to do an early beta sign up to test out this visual. So I will highly encourage you to go ahead and explore that. But what I'm wanting to do in this video is I want to walk you through honestly just a small portion of some of the really cool features that are in here. And I just want to say again, you've known all the videos that I've done and I honestly don't do promotions that often, but this really is one of the first times I've come across a custom visual that is adding just an insane amount of features into Power BI. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and uh, walk through it. And as I mentioned, this is a Power BI custom visual. So a good recommendation is if you are interested in this, is there will be a link that you can go to at a public beta signup at the moment to be able to do some testing for this before it actually becomes publicly released. But I just want to show you how easy it is to set up the data and do a lot of amazing things inside of here. So to start with, we're going to go to start designing and I'm going to click that. I'm going to select financials because I want to dig into some financial data that I have about sales and year over year calculations that I have in this model that I'm using for the demo. So I'm going to select that, click next. And then it gives me some other setup options. How do I want my matrix table to look? Do I want my column subtotal on the right or the left? So a few uh, little tweaks and things you can do here and there, but I'm going to keep it for the defaults. Select next again. I can actually choose between light and dark mode. As a developer, I love, love the dark mode feature. So I'm so happy that they have this in here. I'm going to select that as well and click next. And now it's just asking me to go ahead and add the fields that I need to populate it. I have rows, columns, and values, just like a pivot table would in Excel. And I'm going to populate that with some of the items from in here. I'm going to go ahead and add brand name to the rows. I'm going to add class to the columns and then sales size as well as a subtotal under that row. And then I'm going to open my measures folder and I'm just going to add some data into here. Sales, prior year sales, year over year sales and a year over year sales percentage. And you can immediately notice some things in here. So it does look a lot like Excel. It has inside of the custom visual, its own custom ribbon at the top. And within the data itself, it has standard pivot table functions as far as the expand and collapse hierarchies that you see. But there's a lot of extra features in here that really goes above and beyond what just a basic matrix table can provide you. So let's go ahead and walk through some of these features. If you come up to the number setting right here, you'll see that there is a lot of formatting options where I can actually, for any one of these, override things or provide from a dropdown list certain types of auto formats available. If I click auto, you'll see that it automatically puts it at a scale that's appropriate depending on how large or small the numbers are. I can also individually do native, which just returns whatever is in the measure. But I'm honestly a huge fan of the auto one. I think that makes it look really clean. There's also a couple of unified options. And if I click Unified 2, my personal favorite, you'll notice what it does is it actually automatically converts the numbers down. So that's 2.9, but in thousands, so that's 2.9 million. So it can make it very easy to read. And it will then, inside of the column header, put the title in there to help clean up and to provide a bit more of a clear picture on the numbers in there. And another Excel-like experience, if you do show rails, you have the option to come in here and resize these individually where I can choose the size of the cells in there. I also have an option to do auto fit where I click that and automatically sizes everything as necessary and puts it as compact as it needs to be. And I can even lock them if I want to. So many ways to easily customize this or do it in mass and get ready for this next one. It's honestly going to knock your socks off a little bit. It's something you can do in Excel, but you've never been able to do this in Power BI before. So check this out. Come over to advanced. There's an option to reorder rows. I select that. Notice that the symbols now have changed next to these. And I can manually, for any one of these categories, I can go in and reorder these as much as I need. I can take AdventureWorks, move it up there. So I can completely choose my own custom hierarchies. And that honestly is very amazing. The only way previously to do this in Power BI is you would have to create a custom sort column, add that to the model, do a sort by function in the model itself to assign the sort column to the category column. And it was. It's possible, but it was a bit of a pain in the butt, to, to be fair. And really, in here, it is just so much easier. So honestly, that's one of the features that I think is the most useful that so many people ask is, can I just do custom sorting? So very happy to see this integrated in this tool. And not only can you reorder the rows, you can also apply custom row formatting just like you could in standard cells in Excel. If I select this, 
I go to home, I have all the standard options that I have as far as putting in bars in the top or the bottom. If I select that, that puts a bar above it. So I can completely cell by cell, row by row, or column by column customize this. Same thing in here. If I select that, I can add something over on either to the top. So I have complete autonomy to be able to customize these. And one other thing just to mention is that you can, inside of the tool, the standard back button does not work, but it has one assigned there at the top. When you click that, it pops it back. And another really nice thing is, let's say I have as this column header right here, I want this to specifically be left aligned. So I can actually set that up here. And then separately below the values, I can have those right or left aligned, but I now have the Kratom to keep them separate. And what I mean by this is that in Power BI, when you're doing any kind of formatting on field values, the unfortunate problem is that you have to apply that formatting to either the columns or the cells, but you can't have two formatting options. You can't left align the header and right align the cells or apply different types of color logic. But in here, cell by cell, you can apply whatever formatting or logic that you want to. So it's a lot of degrees of freedom when it comes to that. And if I was to select sales, let's see what kind of formatting options you have. You immediately have the option to do segmentation, heat maps, ABC classification. I'll just pop in a couple in here just to show you some of these. But a heat map, you apply that, it immediately gives you many options to be able to format that by choosing your color scale. Super useful things as far as that goes. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna go down and add the rating as well. So now immediately stars start to show up and you can choose what icon set you want applied into here and then the number that you want to indicate. Click apply, there's the symbol showing up. So you can immediately add at the visual level your own custom conditional formatting columns. I'm gonna close this window again. And not only do you have the option to do conditional formatting in many different methods, if you come to advanced, you actually have an option to insert a row or a column. So if I selected insert column, you can do a calculated measure. I'm gonna call this total profit. A formula, you can have sales, and I'm gonna multiply that by 0.6 just to have an arbitrary total profit. Come down here, select a row aggregation type, and I'm gonna select sum, click apply, and look at that, total profit in thousands shows up for deluxe and for all of the other ones. So I've immediately added a new custom column in here. And this one's huge, by the way, for a long time. Even people like Marco Russo or other people within the DAX community have been asking to be able to calculate in the visual level, custom columns and calculations without actually having to go in and dabble with DAX or impact the data model. And with a lot of people having live models and stuff out there, it's really nice to be able to add additional analysis just in this visual as needed. If I come over and select at the bottom of here, and I can also insert a row, calculated row. And for this new row, I'm gonna call this small plus medium. And here, I'm gonna do a simple addition between the two of them. AdventureWorks, small plus AdventureWorks, medium. And I even have the option to include in total or not. So click apply, boom, look at that. Now I have an additional row in here that is adding small and medium together and again, this just seems like one of these game changing features, the ability to easily add in extra rows, just like you would normally in some kind of a financial or other analytical table in Excel. Super easy to do in here and previously very difficult to do in Power BI with a standard matrix table without having to build a lot of custom tables in the model. And I already know I've talked about so many features already. I barely scratched the surface, but the last thing that I wanna talk about is just the ability to do some commenting in here as well. So let's explore that. Come up to home. Now let's say this 343 is something that I see as a bit of an oddity. I can actually, I can actually come up to add comment. I'm gonna give that a friendly name. Um, interesting data. And I'll just leave a comment here. And I can choose the color for it. Click that and save. Boom, look at that. Immediately we have a symbol that has the comment in here, has the date that's attached to it, and as well with the ability to then reply to it and have threads. And you can do this on columns, rows, or cells. And I know you might be thinking that commenting does already exist in the Power BI service, but you cannot do that on individual cells inside of a matrix table. You can do that with filter context and for a certain visual, but this provides much more granularity for commenting and interactions and being able to have those threads and communication around the data. And that's about as much as I wanna show you for today. This is just the first version that they're coming out with. They're gonna have other versions of this with even more features. And it's just honestly simply amazing how much you can customize this and how many features are available for both the developers and the end users inside of the visual once it's even published. So I encourage you to check out the uh, beta signup and go and sign up for that if you wanna have the option to play around with it and get access to it before it's finally released. And they will on May 6th as well have a demo that they'll be releasing and a webinar for this. So make sure to go check that out as well and tune into that.